Yeah. Mr. Speaker, for Canadian families who depend on the oil and gas sector, every day counts. As they are left in limbo by a Prime Minister who has failed, yet again, to deliver a real plan to get the Trans Mountain Pipeline yeah, built. Exactly. The only plan this government has is to bury this pipeline in so many delays that it never gets built. Yep. When will the government take this seriously, appeal the federal court ruling, and request a stay of the decision so that the construction process can begin now? Honourable Parliamentary Secretary to the Minister of Natural Resources. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. We share the Federal Courts of Appeals view that we can and must proceed by engaging in a specific and focused dialogue with First Nations that are involved in this project. That is exactly what we intend to do. Let me be very clear. We are not starting over. We are building on the relationships that we have, the information that we have gathered, and the consultations that we have done to date. We know it's worth taking the time to get it right together, and that is the only way that we can move forward. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. The Prime Minister thinks he's fooling Canadians with his so-called plan for the Trans Mountain Pipeline, a consultation to find out how to consult. Canadians know a real plan when they see one. Sticking your head in the ground and crossing your fingers is no plan. When will this government snap back to reality, start consultations immediately, and ask for a stay in this decision to finally get shovels in the ground to start construction on the Trans Mountain Pipeline? Honourable Parliamentary Secretary. Mr. Speaker, we will take no lessons from the Conservatives. For 10 years, they have not built one pipeline to new markets. Canadians know now more than ever we need to get our, market, our, our resources to market. For them, consulting with First Nations is a suggestion and not a constitutional obligation. For them, climate change is not even real. Mr. Speaker, we respect the Court's decision and we will take the path that it has provided us. Let's see Mr. Speaker, that.